Hello, Floss Tube Land. Welcome to Daisy Case Primitives. I'm Christy, and this is Floss Tube video number 51, and today is May 28th, I believe, 2023. Um, been a while, been busy, trying to get caught up on uh, lots of things outside. Had several house projects that we've been working on, and um, I decided it's past due time for a video. I uh, put out all of my uh, patriotic stitches. Well, not all of them. I still have some frame pieces that I haven't gotten out, but these are most of my little pillow tucks. And um, I thought, well, I need to catch up with everybody and get a video done. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, let's see. I don't, I just have things kind of piled up in a corner here. Um, so we'll just see what comes up first. Um, I showed this last time that I had a finish. This is um, Stacy Nash's Ohio Pin Keep or Ohio Farmstead Pin Tuck. I don't remember. <laughs> change the red to DMC 221 and the other flosses I used as charted and put it in this black distressed frame and I have it hanging on my wall or actually it's been on the wall it's been on an easel and it's been back on the wall and now it's on the easel again so this is uh this is my first big finish I love how that turned out. I haven't worked on any more peacock designs yet. I've uh, shared with you some others that I had collected that I want to work on, but I haven't chosen any more to, I haven't started any more. Uh, let's see, I had some finishes that are not fully finished yet. This one is called Lady Liberty by Shelly On Primitive Stitching on Etsy. This I stitched on 32 count white Zweigart and I'm going to coffee dye it. So it's not fully finished yet. One that I had gotten all stitched supposed to have some um, bees around the flowers and I left those off but it's really cute I don't have a cover photo for that one and what else do we have here let's see this is an old old glory my own design and I'm going to coffee stain it and frame it and this is a Liberty my own design and I'm going to do the same with it coffee stain it and I will make this into a pillow tuck and that's all of this my is Shelly on's Liberty's ride by primitive stitching is the chart I printed it PDF black and white and here is my finish let's see this might have been confederate gray or weeks 36 count gray and I think I used um, hmm, country redwood for the red and blue corn uh, for all the blues. And the remainder, I believe, is as charted. And I backed it with this. Put some rickrack on it. And I like how that one turned out. Really cute. Fully finished is by Not Forgotten Farm. United We Stand. This is the pattern. And this is my finish. I changed the dress to blue 
and what else? I read, I used red instead of the, um, it's kind of a rusty colored red that she chose. Uh, let's see. And I think everything else have pretty much stayed true to the chart, or at least the same color family. And I backed it with this fabric. Trimmed it with some purple paper mountain chenille. Love their little finishing pieces. And then I made some streamers out of some other purple paper mountain trims and some ribbons and just tucked them on there. Another sheep. Very cute. So those were two more fully finishes. Okay. Let's see. This is a past finish. I haven't gotten it put in the in the display. This was um I know that it is with Thy Needle and Thread, Brenda Gervais. I don't recall what the pattern name is. Maybe it's a bowl full of something. I don't remember, but a lot of you've stitched it and you are you know the pattern. This is another one that I didn't get put into the display. This was from the Pin Keep. And this was called Old Flag Station, I believe. I got this as a kit and I changed mine up, my house up a little bit, but the remainder of the design, I stayed true to the chart. So those are a couple past finishes. Last time I showed you some project bags that I'd made and I want this one I already showed you previously and I'd been going through some of my grandmother's old jewelry and found this brooch and I thought it would be a pretty way that I could just kind of embellish my bag and I thought it looked nice with the the fabrics and this Kind of looks like wheat here and I thought this looked similar so I just attached that to the bag and I think it just kind of adds adds a little bling to the project bag so something you can try with some old brooches this was another bag that I made from some blackbird blackbird fabric and another of my grandmother's brooches. Just to kind of jazz it up a little bit. I'm having a lot of fun making the bags. Here's kind of a winterish theme one. This one I used the, the fancy lace zippers along with the big jumbo rickrack. I like how that one turned out. Just a simple winter theme. And then I made this one for Halloween. This one I have my Blackbird uh, Cats on Parade in it. And after I put this, these beads are from my grandmother's button stash. After I put that on there, I thought that looked like an eye. <laughs> I think I need to go digging around and see if I can't find some more of these exact beads and maybe put another one here and they look like a, a set of eyes. But these are just some more of the bags that I made that I thought were, they were fun. I enjoyed making them. And for my May sampler, I'm stitching Jane Cowie by the Scarlet House. I'm using the NPI silks that are charted, and this is 36 count Bees Knees by Seraphim. And this is where I am. I finished working on the border, filling in the flowers. I think I, I've added these flowers from here on the band below and then started working on the big motif here. 
I love this. This is just so much fun to work on. So pretty. I love the NPI silks. They just make it so much more enjoyable. Love these flowers. When I first saw these buds, I guess. When I first saw those, I thought, oh boy, that's awfully bright. But the whole thing is kind of bright from what I usually stitch. But it's just beautiful, and I'm really enjoying it. And that's really all that matters. So that's who I am on Jane Cowie. And uh, now I'll have to put her away and for a while and move on to my next monthly sampler. I don't remember which one that would be. Um, I don't I don't remember. It's been too long ago. <laughs> Another one that I've been working on that I started last year is Lori Rippey's Sweet Liberty Sampler. Homespun Prims by Lori. This I am stitching on 36 count needle and flax Brea, I believe. And this is what I've gotten accomplished. Quite a bit. Working on the house. Got the lady done. Her little, well, her kitty cat's not finished. It's half bodied. Just um, as I stitch, as I pull out a strand of floss, let's say I finished finish the flag and I still have some left, I'll go find another motif somewhere that uses that same color and work, work on it just so that I can use up the floss and not have to um, store it away or keep track of it. So that's why you will see so many unfinished sections like this, this band here, and this says, uh, in God I Trust, and I don't remember what, this is a motif of flowers. There's supposed to be some birds in there, so that's why it looks like it's so hodgepodged. I really love it on this Brea Linen Threadwork Primitives piece. Don't recall the name. This is my 1776 pillow. In fact, I've got some little streamers from Purple Paper Mountain. Uh, let's see. This I pledge is from Country Rustic. This is actually called Toy Soldier Pinky, I think. Backed without fabric. That 1776 pillow might have been a falling, falling star primitives chart. Maybe. Uh, 1776 up on the right there is a Tina Waltman. The America uh, I love in the little drawer is a Lizzie Kate. And I think that's everything. Oh, this is Homespun Elegance. Don't remember the name of this one either. And it seems like I didn't I did something different with this one too. Maybe I changed the floss colors. I'll try to pop in some uh, photos of some finished pieces. I really haven't even decorated. I've just not, not taken the time to do that.
Sorry it's been so long, just been very busy. Um, wanted to kind of pop in and take just a, a little bit to uh, catch up with you. It's been crazy busy here. We're working on a deck. The grass is growing like crazy and that keeps me busy mowing. And as you can see, I've done a little bit of stitching. So that's all I have. Sorry it's so short and sweet. I'll try to pop in some uh, photos of some finished pieces. I really haven't even decorated. I've just not, not taken the time to do that. So anyway, thanks for dropping by, spending just a few minutes with me, and I will see you next time.